Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to B&M. Come and have a look what I've got. So I've seen these Kershaws. I thought I'm going to have to try them. So many lovely foodies out there have commented about Kershaw meals. Um, so they were, they were at £1.89. If you get two... You get them for three quid, so it works out £1.50 a meal. So it's the Kershaw's Classic Fish and Chips with Mushy Peas. 400 gram weight serving suggestion. Uh, and these go up against the Iceland ones, don't they? Um, I've, I've, I've reviewed them as well, and I thought the fish and chips was, was good from Iceland. Um, how much were they? Were they? I'll have to check. I'll have to go in and, and have a look, see how much they were. But for one pound fifty, I don't think they were as cheap as that. So let's uh, let's have a look at this box. So there is the nutritional information. If you want to pause that, by all means, go ahead, have a look at that. Um, and they are the ingredients: um, chips, forty-six percent; potatoes, sunflower oil, mushy peas, twenty-nine percent. Rehydrated processed peas, 95%. Fish in batter, 25%. White fish fillet, 50%. Anyway, have a look at them. There's a few allergens as well, isn't there? You've got fish, wheat, and wheat. Uh, and there are the ways to cook. Cooking instructions. You can do them in the oven. For best results, oven cooked from frozen, which I am doing. Um, I'm going to do them, not in the oven though, I'm going to do them in the air fryer. Because I'm running about, I'm running behind time, and it's going to be a bit quicker. You can microwave them, look. Um, so basically, you can do them in the oven, or you can microwave them. <laughs> um, any more advice? Anything on there? United Kingdom has got a stamp on there, look. Um, and it's got about the fish there. I can't, I can't read. It's so small. Let's see if I can zoom in on me my phone. Um, what does it say? Board from um, board. Mix board from responsible sources. <laughs> so let's get it all out. A little, little, I'll, I'll read that there. Founded in 1946 by Margaret and Edwin Kershaw. Um, we have remained a proud family owned and run business committed to making delicious, uh, great value meals for you and your family to enjoy. We make a meal of it so you don't have to. David Kershaw. Right, so let's get it open and see what we've got. And I'll be the judge of how good they are. <laughs> Only joking. They've got to be good. If they've been going around since 1946, they've got to be good, haven't they? Let's be fair. There we go. This is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. So you can have a look at that. See what you think. I know, I remember doing the Iceland one and, and they, were, they were good. The, the chips weren't like that. They were sort of fries in the Iceland one. But I remember the fish being tasty as well. So they're done. What a process. Cool. I mean, in the oven, 35 minutes, 200 degrees in the centre. You've got to take the, you've got to take the, um, the chips out and the fish and put it on a plate um, what, and, and do that for 35 minutes and then a microwave the mushy peas. However, in the air fryer, <laughs> I'm glad I checked them. I put them on for 20 minutes. I took, I took them out of the tray. I put the chips on. Here they are, look. I put the chips on uh, inside the air fryer with the, with the fish together. I put it on for 20 minutes at 190. And I came in after 12 minutes to check. And the chips, I was like, wow, I have to get these chips out. So they've been... I'm glad I checked them because they did absolutely burnt to a crisp. And look how small they are on the box. They're, they're not that diddy on the box, look. Look how little they are here, look. I know that they're probably overcooked. Of course they've overcooked, but and that was 12 minutes. Uh, I did the fish for 16 minutes and I've had the thermometer in. I've checked it. It's right up to temperature. It's 90 degrees, so that's done. And the mushy peas are in the microwave for five minutes. And they're done. So look at that. I mean, <laughs> we've got to try, haven't we? So if this is your kind of review, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, well, maybe consider subscribing. There's the fish, look, it, all it says about the fish, it's a white fish, well, it doesn't say if it's pollock or haddock or cod or anything, but that, th there we go, this is that. 
I'll try and get a bit of better light for you, but it's the, the sun's gone in. It was lovely and sunny earlier, and it's just gone in the sun. There's the other bit, look. And fish. Let's focus, please. There we go, look. Um, so we don't know what fish it is. We know it's a fish. So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm gonna see what it's like. See what it tastes like. There we go, look, it's absolutely red hot. It's just come out of the air fryer, I thought. I mean, basically it's done in 16 minutes, as opposed to 35 minutes in the air, in the oven. And I know prices are going up, aren't they? I got a lovely comment saying, um, you know, in this, this year, watch out, watch your bills. Mm. Not too bad. Batter's tasty. Um, there we go. I mean, it's one pound fifty, like you know. So I mean, it's one eighty nine. But if you get in, if you buy two, it's one fifty. Hmm. Tasty though, I'll be honest, it's tasty. I did the um, Iceland fish and chips. I'll get, let's try these chips. There we go, they're a bit overdone, but never mind. I'm gonna absolutely leather them in salt and vinegar in a minute. Mmm. They're all right, nothing wrong with them. Let's try the, the mushy peas. See what this is like. Mm. Yeah, nothing wrong with them neither. They don't need any salt or seasoning. They're quite salty actually, but I love me salt. And, and and let's be honest, you know, you got fish and chips from your chippy obviously are far better, aren't they? But for a pound fifty, so you just get some salt on them, look, and you get the vinegar. That's good. That's good vinegar. It's not it's not bad. It's not as as vinegary as I'd like it to be, but it's all right. It does the job. That's what you want to do, don't you? Let's try it now. Some, some, um, look at that. Let's get them on there. Look, that's what you do. Look, chips, fish. Go. Ravenous. Mmm. Mmm. That's more like it. That's took it up a notch or two. Plenty of um, salt and vinegar. Can't go wrong there, can you? Let's be fair. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. You just need a load of bread and butter now, don't you? Make some chip sandwiches. Oh. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, all right, but it'd be nice to know with what sort of fish we're eating. Uh, it's not exactly the whitest of fish, let's be fair. It says it's white, but you've got dark bits, but it all tastes, you know, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? I like it. They're okay as well. The mushy peas, quite sweet as well. Mm. Oh, I'm into it, like. I'd buy that again, I would. Can't compare it with the Iceland one because it's been a long time ago since I had it. But uh, that's a good that's a good eight and a half out of ten. One pound fifty, remember? Pound fifty. Good eight and a half out of ten, uh, and it's tasty as well. Bit of a bit of a faff cooking it like. I'll be honest, but there you go. That's just the way it goes. Um. So thanks very much for watching. Um. Take care. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.